Well, question for you. What are the three biggest lessons you've learned from all the mentors you've had these years? Oh, I know it's a loaded one. Man. You have some great mentors too. That's a big, that's a that's an incredible question. Um, best lessons I've learned. Uh, I'll start at the beginning is to never give up. Um, I am I am where I am for so long, not because I'm the best at what I do. I'm not the funniest. I'm not the best looking. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the most charismatic. Right. I just don't give up. I will continuously go after whatever it is I want until I'm able to accomplish that goal. I just wake up and I want things more than other people. Mm. And because of that, I've been able to not only get a foot in the door, yeah. but 20 years later, I'm still around because of just a dogmatic mindset, right? So that would be the first thing that I've learned from countless mentors. Kevin Hart is a great example of a guy that just okay, yeah. uh, keeps on going after it. Um, a second thing is, you know, when, when, uh, when what is it? Buy up stock when uh get greedy when the stock is uh, yeah, 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 right? yeah. And what I've learned is I've had some incredible successes in my career, and I've also made some incredible blunders mm -hmm. and some yeah. some very stupid mistakes, very low points in your career. And what I learned is that anytime that I've fallen in mm -hmm. my career, for whatever reason, I'll wake up and something new will happen in my life, right. I had a really bad time in my career a couple years ago. Bad blog, bad everything, right? Yeah. Lena Waithe called me randomly and was like, hey, I saw what happened to you in the news. You look crazy. Guess what? I believe <laughs> you. Can and I grew up on you. <laughs> you crazy. That's rock, right? Yeah. Out of nowhere, yeah. right? T.I., same thing. Called me one day. He's like, I bet, I'm going to bet on you when you're down, right? You build friendships and you learn to never give up, right? Even when things are their hardest, yeah. don't give up on it. So that would be the second is like, don't give up on it. And the third is just to keep on dreaming. You know, like I said, plan new goals for yourself, plan new things that, that make you excited at, in life, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and that's what it is. Just keep on dreaming big. All right. So let's talk about this. Um, Hollywood, um, you know, they call me Hollywood shoddy these days. Hey. <laughs> the, the rumors have been confirmed. I am going to Hollywood. Hey. Uh, but you've been to Hollywood. Over. Breaking news alert, ladies and gentlemen. I got a house you can rent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we interviewed Khaled. And it was like, uh, he was like, ask me a question. So I'm like, all right, what you want me to ask you? He was like, say, say you've changed. So I'm like, you've changed. He said, a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes, it's true. Uh, but Hollywood, there's always horror stories in Hollywood, right? As far as bad contracts, getting screwed out, getting, you know, done bad by business managers, accountants. Have you ever had any of those horror stories? And what, what are like some of the biggest lessons that you've learned in the entertainment industry for over 20 years? You gotta, you gotta have to learn how to read contracts. It's, it's imperative. You gotta learn what you're signing, what you're reading, um, what kind of deals you're making, you know, the language can be crazy, but you have to, it's something that you have to learn. And, and for any of my deals, uh, and I've been very blessed. I have a great team around me. Um, you know, Fred, who's you know, my, my college roommate is still my right hand. My, my team at WME, my lawyers at, at Fox, like Daryl, everybody, Yanley, everybody has been around me a really long time. I have a great team around me, but I always read my own deals. I always yeah, know definitely. everything I'm signing. I micromanage everything. I know exactly where I'm going to be at all times. I, I always try to be on time. Um, and so you have to be a professional. You know, the, the, the key to longevity is being a professional. Um, all the horror stories exist. I've seen it all happen. I've seen people come, seen people with the biggest record in the world. You're on top of the world, yeah. right? But you treat people bad mm. and you let it get to your head. Your number one movie is the top. You got the biggest movie in the world, mm -hmm. but you don't, you don't respect the, the, the game. You don't respect the craft. And no matter what, if that's the case, it's not going to work out for you in the long term. The people that are around for a long term are the, are the people that respect the game. Mm. And I've had moments where, you know, you, we all have moments where you're not the best version of you. Yeah. But it's, it's 
continuously trying to grow as a person and be the, the best that you can be, that's the, the, the key to longevity in Hollywood. Because the, if you start screwing people over, it's going to come back to haunt you. And, you, you know, you got to read your own deals and you got to treat people well. If you were now trying to break into Hollywood, given all the social media and all the platforms we have, what would you do different than what you did back in the day to break in? And how much more challenging do you think it is now to become a star? You know, I think that, um, you know, the game is different, right? When, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you wanted to be a part of something, right? How can I be a part of this company? Yeah. How can I be a part of this film studio or this television show? This network has this big show. I want to be a part of that, right? Now it's shifted to how can I create and own my own, right? You look at, you know, you guys are creating a, 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 a network, right? Assets over liabilities, market Mondays, earn your leisure, right? You guys are now the network, and the shows are now the, the products that you guys own. So you have to come into the game now with a completely different mm. mind state, right? Is it, is, is it easier? Some things are easier because you can go directly to the consumer. When I started, there was no Instagram. There was no, we have Black Planet. You want to get on your Black Planet page, yeah. you want to get popping, right? So yeah, you can go directly to consumer. So that is something that didn't exist before. There's resources that you didn't have before, right? So now you can buy all the equipment. You can have, you know, my man, Matt Cherry made a movie off of his iPhone. Yeah, shout out to Matt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Made a movie off of his iPhone. My man, Jatari Turner, he's got like making films out of nothing, right? So you have access to those resources. You have to take advantage of it. Yeah. At the same time, there's so many more people doing it. Yeah. Now, anybody in your house, now you don't have to be the best rapper because now you can do your own raps. Yeah. You know, you have your own at-home studio, right? You In the entertainment game, it's just shifted in so many ways. So there's the pros and there's the cons. But I, again, I think that the cream will always rise. Good people, talented people, people that believe in themselves will always be able to make a name for themselves. So you brought up the, the, the conversation that you had with Ye and how having somebody stamp it was like kind of ruined the conversation. Yeah. So I wonder now from the other land is like, how important is it for somebody to win an Oscar or win an Emmy or mm -hmm. have that trophy? Like what does it, from a business standpoint, does it accelerate the career or, I mean, cause I feel like now, like if you ask me who the best actor was, it's gonna be tough for me to remember, yeah, right? So yeah. like how important is it now? Or are people, should they still strive to get these things? Or should the, the focus be, let's just create something great. And if somebody, if somebody recognizes it, great. But let's just create something great. Uh, listen, accolades are incredible. The Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences, if they recognize you, that's an incredible yeah. feat. I mean, this is a, you know, a, 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 an organization that's been around for decades and getting that type of response, getting that type of accolade, any of those things. Anytime you win something, it's, it's amazing, right? But where my mind is now, what I tell people is, you know, every day we wake up, is is something to be proud of, right? I uh, I hosted the radio room for the BET Awards uh, that you guys were a part of, right? And you know, for for people in in the radio industry, in particular, right? These people, you got incredible people that wake up every morning at five a.m., mm -hmm. six a.m. to ten a.m. They on the air five days a week, right? They're they're in the communities doing activities and, and remotes and activations, right? In their community, at pillars of the community, right? These people are breaking news stories. They're, when COVID drops, they're helping you get through things in life, right? Mm -hmm. There's no award a lot of times given out for them, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times there's not, we don't, there's no trophy for that, right? So, so my mentality now is like, we have to celebrate each other. We have to give each other the trophy. Cause I know when I land in certain cities, I'm listening to you. And I want you to know how much we appreciate you and love you, right? And whatever field you in, everybody can't, everybody's not gonna be on TV, right? But wherever you are, you, you might be at the mail, you might be working at FedEx, you might be an Amazon delivery person, right? No, there might not be an award for you, right? But we have to normalize giving each other our flowers because if the person that delivers our Amazon packages says, yo, we're not doing that no more, Right, the Amazon package delivery guy. A lot of times is the MVP. Big facts. They the Oscar winner. Yeah. Because if you don't get your package, you're not recording. And you, you know what I'm saying? You're not recording this. 
You not doing this, yeah. right? If they, if the if we in Komodo right now, if they don't get the freshest sushi, if the person bringing that truck with the yeah. sushi isn't delivering that sushi, we not having dinner, right? So we have to it it, it it's incredible to get those accolades, and we still respect it. But it can't just be about that. We have to normalize where we you know loving each yeah. other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me ask you this before before we go. Um, you know, collaboration is better than competition. And um, we're actually partnering at F1 Invest Fest for uh, you're curating the VIP experience for us. Wow. And um, it's something that, you know, when looking at Invest Fest, always wanted to see how we can just scale it, scale it, scale it. And like Clyde Davis's Oscar party is something that you, I've always heard about where it was like, you know, the hardest ticket to get into when everybody was always clamoring. And I feel like, you know, putting on events, the curation of it is very important, but to have a a jewel in the in the crown, and that's the VIP experience at InvestFest. So, in your brain, when you when you're thinking about InvestFest and you're thinking about VIP night and your 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 role as far as the curator, what do you what do you what do you envision? Roses, <laughs> <laughs> the drop right there, the, the SUV pull up. My fit is gonna be immaculate. <laughs> what you wear? I listen, you can so get it for yourself. You can get it for yourself. I'm making phone calls, okay? I'm making some serious phone calls for this first night. Matt just said it's all we sold, it's sold out. By the end of this conversation, it's sold out. Okay. So if you're not even you don't have your ticket yet, we can't even help you possibly. All right. But what we what 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 it is 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 we're gonna take things to the next level, right? And that's, it comes back to what you guys said about relationship building, right? Me, I'm a, I've been doing parties, events, curating red carpets for the past 20 years. What I haven't been doing is Market Monday. What I haven't been doing is watching the stock market growth. And what I haven't been doing is studying real estate on the level that you guys have, right? So what happens is at InvestFest is you get all these, you know, this merge of worlds, right? Where a person like me can be a kid in a candy store and gain valuable information so that I can grow my business, so I can grow my portfolio, so I can grow as a business person by surrounding myself with people that are smarter than me in a different field, right? And at the same time, you guys have done an incredible job by bringing the absolute best in the world at those the best parties <laughs> to help elevate the first night of invest fest, invest fest, and take the VIP to the next level. Oh, so that's what you're gonna see this year. Is the you know the, these guys are moving in the direction, and I'm getting, you know we jumping in. And when this this lineup is everybody in the lineup, it's all been announced, right? Yeah. So they understand that you're gonna get jewels from Steve Harvey. Yes. You're gonna get jewels from Tyler Perry. Yeah. You're gonna get jewel like what? Yeah. And, and, and uh, so many other names. I've been watching 19 Keys now. To 19 you keys. know what I'm oh saying? God, I've God. been watching Ian. I can't wait to see it all play out. Yeah, yeah. But again, what I want to do right now is just give the flowers of taking an idea out of, you know, the pandemic, taking it, taking it and putting it on your shoulders and watching it grow. And I can't wait to see at InvestFest all of these incredible entrepreneurs and business people come together and get the love. This day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's good? Red Panda Anthem. Your boy.